With Black Adam potentially losing millions, it's clear that this blunder is going to be costly for everyone involved. Now, there's just one question on everyone's mind. Does Black Adam's failure prove that The Rock is no longer a box office draw? As usual, DC has kept the proper numbers of Black Adam's success, or lack thereof, under wraps. But it's pretty obvious to everyone that the film has been a major disappointment. As far as the business end is concerned, it failed to live up to the hype that The Rock generated for it. And in a lot of ways, he's on the chopping block for the film's poor reception. What makes it even more peculiar is the fact that seeing a Johnson film perform this poorly is basically unheard of, at least in recent memory. And so, it's fair to ask if Johnson's star power is beginning to diminish, and if he's really as big of a box office draw anymore. Like, if even The Rock isn't able to pull people to the theaters to watch a run-of-the-mill superhero movie, what does that say about him and the genre itself. That said, the film's failure may feel even rougher for Johnson, considering his attachment to the series. The movie took 12 years to make, according to The Rock, and he was heavily invested in the project from the get-go. So it only makes sense why he was so worked up when it came out that even despite all that investment of time and energy, it proved to be a flop on the big screen. Up until the moment when the current DC Universe, including Johnson's Black Adam, got binned, he continued to defend the film from naysayers and critics. He even went as far as to link articles on his Twitter that apparently stated that the movie was doing well at the box office, even though the numbers used in such pieces were far from accurate, making Johnson look even more desperate as a result. Things went from bad to worse, when he felt the need to defend the movie on Twitter after IGN posted a picture comparing its box office earnings with Black Panther Wakanda Forever. Dwayne stated that IGN was wrong for drawing comparisons between the two movies. He added that Black Panther is a recognized global brand and that Black Adam and the Justice League of America were just babies in comparison. The thing is, even the first Black Panther was a cultural phenomenon that made Marvel a ton of money, and at the time, the character of T'Challa wasn't all that well known either. So the idea that Black Adam failed because people didn't know about the character is just a cop-out. Dwayne's incessant defending of the film has many reasons behind it though. For one, the movie was supposed to be his time to create his very own franchise character. So far, The Rock has mostly only appeared in generic action roles, such as The Rundown, or the die-hard clone, Skyscraper. If Black Adam took off, he'd finally have a franchise that he built on his own, something that featured him on the forefront. So far, his biggest movies include The Five, Fast, and the Furious entries, Jumanji, The Mummy Returns, and Moana. These are all movies that are more or less tied to highly successful existing properties, which don't really need Dwayne to stay afloat. He's worked on movies like San Andreas and Rampage, but again, neither of those have the franchise-spanning capabilities that a successful Black Adam adaptation would have. Not just that, but the timing of Black Adam's release is also super important. It was released at a time when fans weren't really sure about the future of the DCEU, and so The Rock took the charge and made it seem like he had a plan for the future of the cinematic universe. He made made statements like he was going to change the hierarchy of DC, which sounded as much of a statement to generate hype as it did a threat to the WB execs that didn't let him have his way. Dwayne even got Henry Cavill to suit up as Superman once again for the role, which was something that the fans had almost entirely given up on seeing again. The film was definitely shaping up to be the last saving grace for the DCEU, but despite all those benefits, it failed to generate big numbers at the box office. It goes to show that even a Johnson blockbuster is susceptible to failure if it just isn't good. Identifying the reason behind the movie's failure 
is a tough puzzle to solve. Johnson is clearly great for the role, as is evidenced by the reviews that seem to think that his performance itself wasn't really the problem with the film. Perhaps the issue is with the character of Black Adam itself. It's hard to see why out of all the characters the DCEU had at its disposal, it decided to give a lesser known villain like Black Adam such a huge spotlight. Not just that, but the personality of the villain doesn't really translate from the comic books to the big screen all that well. This was despite the writers making an effort to somewhat rework the role for the purpose of making him the main character. As it stands, the film just ended up being a generic anti-hero in a vanilla setting. It just didn't have a unique pull that made people want to see it. In a lot of ways, the movie feels outdated for its time. It almost looks like a 90s superhero film that was plucked and released in 2022, but that's far from the only issue with the film. Black Adam fails to solidify his own identity. Other than the fact that Dwayne wanted his character to eventually clash with Superman, there just isn't anything interesting or appealing about Black Adam to make people want to sit in theaters for him. And now that audiences are at a point where superhero fatigue is seeming more and more like a reality, a generic take on the genre like Black Adam just isn't going to cut it. The film was apparently more than a decade in the making, and it really does seem like Dwayne learned nothing over the past decade, using the same old tropes and conventions that audiences are tired of seeing. The end result is a mediocre film that had an equally mediocre reception. But instead of admitting to that, Johnson felt the need to defend the film's glaring and obvious flaws. Funnily enough, the movie may have done better if The Rock wasn't involved. While Black Adam has often swapped between hero and villain in the comics, fans seem to like his villain variant a lot more. And that's the version that we needed to get in the DCEU. Unfortunately, Johnson needed the character to appeal to a wider demographic. Plus, he needed to hog the spotlight and become the main character of the movie too. This meant that the villain couldn't really go out in the movie and instead had to become a weird mishmashed version of himself that completely missed the mark. Dwayne claims to love the DC Universe and Black Adam, but he's got a pretty big misunderstanding of the character himself. That said, the movie wouldn't have ever happened if not for Dwayne. He pushed for the character for a very long time and had the supposed star power to lead the project to success. It's a weird cycle where the only way the movie got made was if The Rock was involved, but him getting involved is what essentially doomed it to fail. Anyway, what are your thoughts on Black Adam's failure indicating that Dwayne's star power is at an end? See you in the next one.